Indigenously built stealth guided missile destroyer Vishakhapatnam has just been inducted into the Indian Navy today. Go across to Defence Minister Rajnath Singh is speaking right now. Let's take a listen. Shaukai, my INS Vishakhapatnam ke saath jude sabhi naval officers and commanders ko bhi apni tarf se hardik badhai deta hu. Is aur par aur adhik kuch na kehte hue main ek baar puna. आप सभी को बधाई देता हूं और मैं सरकार की ओर से हर प्रकार के सहयोग के लिए आप सबको आश्वस्त करना चाहता हूं भविष्य के प्रयासों के लिए आपको कामयाबी हासिल हो इसके लिए पुनः उसकी सफलता की शुभकामनाएं देते हुए अपना निवेदन समाप्त करता हूं Rajnath Singh and top naval commanders are there right now, as you can see. Vishakhapatnam is equipped with lethal weapons and sensors, including supersonic surface to surface and surface to air missiles, medium and short range guns, anti submarine rockets, and advanced electronic warfare and communication suits. The ship has the capability of embarking two integrated helicopters and boasts of a very high level of automation with sophisticated digital networks, combat management systems and integrated platform management systems is what the army has indicated. Ishwar ship ki commissioning hamari maritime capability ko to badhati hi hai साथ ही साथ डिफेंस सेक्टर में हम लगातार आगे बढ़ रहे हैं और आत्मनिर्भरता की तरफ आगे बढ़ रहे हैं इसका भी स्पष्ट इस संकेत देती है अभिषेक बल्लास गिरिंग ऑन मोर डिटेल्स ऑन द बिग स्टोरी दैट वी आर ट्रैकिंग अगेन अभिषेक इट्स अ ग्रेट मोमेंट फॉर द कंट्री वंस अगेन दिस इज दिस इज द आई एन एस विशाखापटनम विच हैज बीन कंस्ट्रक्टेड यूजिंग इंडिजिनस स्टील and of course is the among the largest destroyers that has been constructed in india well uh, fresh induction uh, for the indian navy uh, boosting its firepower at a time uh, when uh, the navy is looking at enhancing its uh, maritime capabilities especially uh, uh, amid uh, the growing presence of the chinese uh, navy in the indian ocean region uh, visakhapatnam uh, is a destroyer uh, which is indigenously built 75% uh, components uh, in this uh, Warship uh, are uh, made in India, so all in all, it's largely an Indian-made uh, warship. And what makes this uh, unique is its uh, anti-ship, uh, anti-submarine capabilities. Uh, it can also, uh, you know, uh, embark at least two helicopters uh, from its deck. It's also suited uh, for nuclear, biological, and uh, chemical warfare. Uh, so a very important induction as far as the Indian Navy is concerned. And, and in fact, this is the first of the four. Uh, ships are being uh, being constructed under the project 15B. Uh, these four destroyers are supposed to have uh, enhanced capabilities. Uh, so after the first induction, uh, by 2025, the Indian Navy should have all these four ships that are an extension of the Kolkata class, uh, which will definitely add uh, more teeth uh, to the Indian Navy's uh, fleet. Abhishek Bala, thanks for getting us up to speed with all of those developments. Abhishek Bala, with an important story on. INS Vishakhapatnam, the first stealth guided missile destroyer ship of Project 15B that has been commissioned today in the presence of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Vishakhapatnam has been constructed, remember, using indigenous steel that Abhishek was talking about. So, in that sense, it is a made in India ship. It is among the largest destroyers constructed in India, is what Abhishek was, in fact, telling us. Rajnath Singh also earlier today tweeted congratulating. Uh, uh, the Navy for the induction, also talking about the fact that uh, uh, this is a proud moment for the entire country. He's, in fact, uh, also put out a tweet talking about the fact that uh, uh, he believes that uh, the ship INS Vikrant is vigilant. She is valiant, he said. She shall always be victorious. India's first indigenous P-15 Bravo destroyer, Vishakhapatnam, is ready for commissioning. That was a while ago. It has been commissioned already. Uh, Raksha Mantri, as you saw, attended that grand ceremony in Mumbai a while ago and also spoke about India's capabilities, maritime capabilities.
Abhishek Bhalla continues to be with us uh, for more on that. Abhishek, uh, what, are the, what is the future plan as far as uh, involving more of these uh, in the Indian Navy is concerned? You did mention that by the end of uh, 2024 or 25, we will be having four of these uh, adding to our maritime capabilities. Well, uh, Sam, the Indian Navy is looking at uh, enhancing its fleet uh, to uh, 170 uh, warships uh, and submarines. Uh, the earlier deadline uh, for this was uh, 2027, uh, but there are certain delays uh, expected now. Uh, but within the next decade, uh, the Indian Navy would definitely want to get there, uh, considering that, you know, uh, as far as challenges in the Indian Ocean region are concerned, they are increasing by the day. The current uh, strength of the uh, Indian Navy's fleet is 130. That includes all warships uh, as well as uh, uh, submarines. Remember, there is uh, already the second aircraft carrier that uh, is going through sea trials and should be commissioned uh, by next year. Uh, so the Indian Navy is looking at including aircraft carriers, uh, submarines in its fleet. As far as the aircraft carrier is concerned, uh, the Navy is pushing for a third one, even though there are certain reservations uh, within the government and the military. Uh, but by next year, uh, the Navy will definitely have two functional aircraft carriers. So that will be a big boost uh, to its uh, capabilities because still now the Navy was only using one aircraft carrier. Uh, it remains to be seen whether there will be consensus for a third one or not. Uh, but the Navy is certainly in its uh, uh, future plans as... Uh, uh, included a third aircraft carrier along with other submarines and warships. You know, Abhishek, the Navy has said that it is going to enhance India's capacity and firepower both above and underwater. In that context, do take us through the features of INS Vikrant. Uh, Vishakapatnam. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, the Vishakapatnam is a uh, stealth destroyer and, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, packed with uh, state of the art uh, weapons and sensors. It has surface-to-surface -surface missiles, surface-to-air missiles. Uh, the radar system uh, is uh, modern and advanced. Uh, the ship has excellent uh, anti-submarine uh, warfare capabilities, uh, and uh, it's provided with rocket launchers, torpedo launchers, and also helicopters uh, that are meant for uh, anti-submarine warfare. And very importantly, the ship uh, is also equipped uh, with uh, capabilities uh, to combat nuclear, biological, and chemical uh, warfare. Uh, so it's, it's a potent uh, warship uh, that the Indian Navy has. And uh, what is important is that this is just the first of the four uh, similar uh, destroyers uh, that the Indian Navy has planned. And by 2025, all four of these should be commissioned in the Indian Navy. You know, uh, Pishek, uh, we've been talking about Project 15B. Do take us to the details of what exactly uh, that program of the Indian Navy is. Well, uh, four uh, warships uh, were supposed to be constructed under Project 15B. Uh, there have been certain delays, uh, but things are getting back on track uh, because of the COVID uh, lockdown. Uh, there were certain delays. Uh, but as I said, that the four ships, uh, uh, which are uh, named Vishakapatnam, uh, Murmu, Gao, Imphal, and Surat. Uh, the, the work is on track now by February uh, 2023. Murgamau is expected to be commissioned, uh, followed by uh, Imphal in 2024 and uh, Surat in 2025. So this is, uh, uh, you know, largely what uh, the Project 15B consists of. But it's also important that uh, uh, in a short uh, while from now, on uh, 24th November, uh, the Indian Navy will also be commissioning submarine Vela, uh, which is the fourth submarine of the Calvary class uh, under Project 75 of the Indian Navy, uh, where six submarines uh, were, were to be constructed. Uh, Vela will be the fourth one to be constructed. Uh, this uh, submarine is, uh, uh, has, already, uh, has already gone to sea, uh, but is yet to be uh, uh, commissioned, and the sixth submarine work is uh, continuing in that as well. Uh, so in the years to come, uh, these two submarines of Project 75 will also be commissioned, adding more firepower to the Indian Navy's fleet and moving towards that number of 170 that I said that the Indian Navy is looking at uh, completing by the end of the decade. Abhishek Bala, thanks for getting us up to speed. Abhishek Bala with that report on INS Vishakapatnam.
And staying with this, remember this is the first stealth guided missile destroyer ship of Project 15B that Abhishek was talking about. And it has now been commissioned in the presence of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Here is an exclusive report from this INS Vishakapatnam. Vishakhapatnam, the stealth guided missile destroyer, made in India's largest destroyer, constructed using indigenous steel with an overall length of 163 meters and displacement of over 7,400 tons, equipped with 75% made in India weapons. सुपर रैपिड गन माउंट है जो भारत हेवी इलेक्ट्रिकल्स ने बनाई है ये एक टाइम टेस्टेड गन है ये 15 किलोमीटर किलोमीटर तक इसका गोला दागा जा सकता है और ये प्रिसेशन के साथ इसका गोला ऑर्डिनेंस टारगेट पे हिट करता है इसकी कैपेबिलिटी ये और ये स्टैंडर्ड फिट है हमारे जहाज पे a ship potent and capable of undertaking multifarious tasks and missions spanning the full spectrum of maritime warfare Built at the Mazgon Dock in Mumbai, INS Vishakhapatnam warship is a product of Make in India initiative. Mazgon Dock Limited itself has evolved in a big way. And uh, I remember 25 years ago, I used to be on a ship called INS Ganga, which is one of the initial ships that MDL had produced in the 1980s. And I personally can say, you know, and I'm proud to say that, that from then till now, uh, it's been a sea change, it's been a generational shift in terms of the quality of ships uh, that MDL has produced. So it's an honor. Indigenous special steel used on the outer surface of the warship makes it stealth and helps INS Vishakhapatnam in escaping from the radar of enemies. Jahaz, which is the next generation radar, one of the best radars that is in its own time. और जहाज रडार की जो कैपेबिलिटीज हैं वो लगभग 200 माइल से भी ज़्यादा आगे तक जाकर के दुश्मन के टारगेट्स को पकड़ सकता है एट द सेम टाइम अपनी पोजीशन को डिस्क्लोज किए बिना इस रेडार की वजह से हम उस दुश्मन तक पहुंच सकते हैं जहां पर बाकी लोगों के लिए पहुंचना नामुमकिन सा होता है मगर जिस तरीके की मॉडर्न सुविधाएं इस जहाज में दी गई है उससे हम किसी भी दुश्मन को कहीं भी इसके आस के रेडियस में आसानी से पकड़ सकते हैं Powered by four powerful gas turbines, the Indian destroyer is capable of achieving a speed of more than 30 knots. This is the speed which we can do. But the chapan kilometer per pradigande raftar mein jo ja sakta hai, and the the long to the distance which we can cover, that is 6,000 nautical mile without refueling. That is at this stage of world power, we are much more super power with this kind of speciality. The Made in India warship is equipped with an array of weapons and sensors including supersonic surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air missiles, medium and short-range guns, anti-submarine rockets and advanced electronic warfare and communication suits. This is missile from our Swadeshi Gyan Kausal. And this is our Brahmastra Astra. We will war wherever we are, it will be war in the right way. The destroyer will be a major boost to India's arsenal as well as Prime Minister's Atmanirbhar defence push. Bureau Report, India Today.